Xavier, thank you. Back to our breaking news we've been following for hours. Search crews are continuing to look for this missing teenager. Ethan Britt vanished on South Fork River in Gaston County in the middle of massive flooding. He was swimming with a friend Monday night right before he went missing. Officials tell us they'll resume a full search tomorrow morning, adding canine units. They're asking anyone living along the Catawba River to be on the lookout and check the banks. Several families living on the river are just beginning the long process of picking up the pieces of their flood ravaged homes and putting them back together. NBC Charlotte's Hunter Signs joins us now with more Hunter. This used to be a beautiful downstairs studio, but it is no more. You can see the damage done. The water line nearly up to my head, nearly six feet. Now the race is on to clean up. Dave Bragg will spend days cleaning up. You're kind of spinning around circles, you know, you don't know what even to do. He spent Tuesday pulling drenched belongings out of his mud filled garage. So we have like a, a maybe we'll salvage pile <laughs> and a trash pile right now. That's where I'm starting. His neighbors are finding his belongings too. My trash cans are, my trash cans are over there. Tools and tax records now goners. Yeah, all my paperwork for every year or so. But at times, uplifting moments. Let's see what this one does. Look at that! Lights totally dry. This is what his studio once looked like. This is what's left. Furniture pushed around, mud and water still flooding the floor. Step into his backyard, and you'd think it was the bottom of the Catawba River. We had actually just grown, got our grass kind of grown back from the last flood. That's right. Dave and others on this street went through the floods of 2013. They say this is worse. Yeah, it was a full current running through the house. This one's, this one's bad, dude. As he cleans up, the race is on to protect his home from mold. Two feet above the water line, you're going to have to tear, tear everything out. A nightmare to go through, and one that could be costly, since last time, insurance didn't cover a dime. This is going to be a long, long, long process. Dave says he's not sure exactly how much damage has been done here, but a rough estimate is at $75,000. Reporting along the Catawba River, Hunter Signs, NBC Charlotte.